Welcome back, everybody, to our Breezy 5 and 1 special, the 2020 edition, in which this time around we're going to play Jeopardy for the Nintendo Wii, which will also count as Game 5 towards my original run. And I've won $625,000 so far. Welcome to Jeopardy, everyone. This is Jeopardy! Here are today's contestants. Player one. Player two. Player three. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thank you, Johnny. Hi, everyone. Here comes the Jeopardy round. Let's do this. Clues are worth $200 to $1,000 in these categories. Cooking class. All right. You're an animal. <laughs> Classical composers. It happened on Halloween. That's so cliche. And 80s music. Oh, good. Classical All right, let's get back into this. Player In 1762, this six-year-old and his sister performed for Empress Maria Teresa. Yes, player one. Use the Wii remote or press the corresponding direction on the plus. That's correct. You get to pick again, player one. For several years, his friend Carl Amenda was one of the few people who knew about his increasing deafness. Who is Ludwig von Beethoven? Okay, player one. Yeah! Right you are. Choose again, player one. During his lifetime, Johann Sebastian Bach was best known as a master of this instrument. It's player one. I believe he was the master of the organ, so that's what I'm going with. Yeah. That's it. What is the organ? Yep. Player one, back to you. He composed the Four Seasons in 1723. Who is Antonio Vivaldi? Player one. Hey, you're right. Please pick again, player one. On March 3rd, 1875, his Carmen premiered in Paris, and he was decorated with the French Legion of Honor. Who is George Let's Bailey? hear it, player one. That's correct. Uh, we return to you, player one. If you boil these before making them into hash browns, they'll stick together better and cook faster, too. What are potatoes? Player one. All right. Uh, let's have 50 class 400, please. Player one. To make bunny salad, use a chilled pear half for the bunny's body and a ball of cottage cheese for this appendage. What is the tail? It's player one. That is correct. Player one. Joy of Cooking suggests using these Thanksgiving berries in any recipes calling for red currants. What are cranberries? Yes, player one. Yeah. Correct. Select again. The Chicken of the Sea website suggests making enchiladas with the albacore type of this. What is tuna? Okay, player one. Yeah. You are correct. Player one. For the silver dollar type of these breakfast treats, drop the batter onto the griddle one tablespoon at a time. What are pancakes? Yes, player one. That is correct. 80s music, 200. Choose again, player one. The Greg Kin Band was singing our song, crooning, Our Love's in This, Baby. What is Jeopardy? Okay, player one. Wow. Yes. You again, player one. In 1984, his Let's Go Crazy said, We are gathered here today to get through this thing called life. Who is the artist formerly known as Prince? Player one. Yeah. That's right. Way to go. 
Select again. She told us, love is a battlefield, and in 1980 went to number nine with Hit Me With Your Best Shot. It was Pat Benatar. Let's hear it, player one. Woo. Right. All right, uh, 800, please. You get to pick again, player one. In 1981, Sheena Easton sang, My baby takes the this. He works from nine till five, and then he takes another home again. What is the morning train? It's player one. Yep. Player one, back to you. Yeah. It's the Daily Double. You are in first place. Decide on your way. Answer this. Well, I talk about it, talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. Lip Sync asked, won't you take me to here? What is Funkin' Tail? You have maintained your lead. Way to go. Funkin' Tail. Player one, it back to you. 1926. There's no escape for this magician who dies following a rupture of his appendix. Who is Harry Houdini? Let's hear it, player one. Woo! Yes. Hey, hey. We return to you, player one. 1846. Heavy snowfall traps this carnivorous party in the Sierra Nevada mountains. What okay, is the player party, one. Or the... Yeah, daughter party. Yeah, that's what we're going with. Woo! Right. Woo! All right, it's a third place, same category. Player one. 1956. The Brits and the French invade Egypt in response to the nationalization of this. It's player one. I'm going to say what is the Suez Canal. Yes. Ah! Player one. 1961. This man's body is removed from Lenin's tomb. Player one. Who is Joseph Stalin? You got it. Please pick again, player one. 1998. This Mideast nation announces it will no longer cooperate with UN weapons inspectors. Yes, player one. What is Iraq? Right. That's so cliche, 200. You again, player one. Need something? Well, just come to the point and stop beating around the this. What is the bush? Player one. Yeah. yeah, good. Player one. The final outrage is the straw that breaks this animal's back. What is the camel's back? Yes, player one. Yeah. Good for you. Choose again, player one. People who meet briefly and then go their separate ways are like these that pass in the night. Okay, player one. What are ships? <laughs> Player one, you've been in trouble if someone has read you this act. What is the Miranda Act? It's Player One. Oh. Mm. Oh. Any other takers? The uh, first incorrect response I've given all game, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. Let's hear it, Player Three. Yeah. That is correct. It's the right. All right. That's okay. Player three, back to you for our next selection. An indefinitely long time is often referred to as a month of these days. Okay, player one. What are Mondays? Oh. No, that's not right. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? It's player three. Sundays. Right. All right. You get to pick again, player three. Get along, little this. The word for a motherless calf. Player one. What is a doggy? Yeah. Good for you. Please pick again. Let's go to the Clue Crew for this next clue. The giant panda scene here isn't playing the flute. He's snacking on this, his favorite food. What is bamboo? Yes, player one. Yes. Select again. Scientists are scrambling to find out the cause of colony collapse disorder, which is occurring with this insect. What is the ant? 
Let's hear it, player one. Sorry, that's wrong. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Who's calling me? I don't know that number, so I say nope. Player two. Termites. <sighs> no. Any other takers? Let's hear it, player three. Yes! We return to you, player three. A condor is a type of this bird. It's related to the turkey type and also enjoys eating carrion. It's player one. Uh, what is a uh, vulture? <laughs> That's right, way to go. Yay. And now the thousand dollar clue. The plains variety of this animal has gray markings that are known as shadow stripes. Okay, player one. I'm going to say it's the, um, I'm going to say what is the bison. No. Oh. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Yes, player two. Zebra. Correct. You've got some money again. Player two is going first in double jeopardy when we come back following this. Let's see what happens in double jeopardy with these categories awaiting the players. Completes the Star Trek title, ballet. Say it in Spanish. This side of parasites the 20th century, and the largest in area. Player two gets to make the first selection once again. This time, we're moving into the double jeopardy round, where no man has done this. Let's hear it, player one. What is uh, Gone Before? <laughs> That's it. Player one, back the trouble with these creatures. Player one. What are Klingons? Ooh, sorry. That's incorrect. Anyone else? Here's the correct response. Tribbles. Tribbles. Okay. Please pick again, player one. Muds these. Yes, player one. What are... Muds, moons? Oh. That's not it. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? It's player two. Moon, sorry. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Okay, player three. You got it. <laughs> Player three, back to you for our next selection. Answer, yeah. the first of the Daily Doubles. You're in second right now. Give us a wager. Player three. Here is your clue. The city on the edge of this. The city on the edge of forever? Right. You get to pick again, Player three. In the 1920s, this fascist leader of Italy set up a puppet regime in Albania and reconquered Libya. Who is Benito Mussolini? Yes, player one. That's correct. Player one, you the Corbomite, this. It's player one. What is uh, the Corbomite maneuver? That is correct. Player one. Pick Elizabeth II succeeded her father, this man who died unexpectedly at age 56. Okay, player one. I'm gonna say who is um, George VI. Woo! Yep. Hey, hey! Player one, back to you. Saudi Arabia, Oman, Yemen. 
What is Saudi Arabia? Let's, Let's hear, hear it, it, player one. one. I actually didn't mean to pick that category, but it's okay. Woo! Hey! 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 Select Select again. Yeah, all right. Answer, the second daily double, and you have the lead. The need to select your peer is your daily double clue. On February 8, 1904, Japanese ships attacked this country's fleet at Lushun, Manchuria, beginning a war. I'm going to say what is China. Second place now, player one. Here's what we were looking for. Russia. Don't worry, I'll, I'll come back. I've done it before. You again, player one. On February 15, 1965, Canada's new flag, which featured an 11-pointed one of these, flew for the first time. What's a maple leaf? Player one. Yeah! Correct. We return to you, player one. On Valentine's Day, 1989, the Ayatollah Khomeini showed no love for this author's satanic verses, giving him a death sentence. Let's hear it, player one. Satanic verses, uh, who is, uh, Khalid Hosseini? Nope. Sorry. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? It's player three. Salman Rush. Right. Back. Choose again. Player three. Mexico, United States, Canada. What is Canada? Yes, player one. Good. Hey, you're on the plus side. We return to you. Pakistan, India, Bangladesh. What is India? Okay, player one. Yeah. Hey, you're right. Player one, Spain, Germany, France. What is France? Player one. Yeah. Right you are. You get to pick again, player one. Libya, Egypt, Tunisia. What is Libya? Yes, player one. You are correct. Please pick again, player one. Cadets attend a dance at a girls' school in graduation ball. A ballet set in this capital of Austria. What is uh, Vienna? Okay, player one. Yeah, that's correct. Player one. I may say nay if you do a pas de cheval, a ballet step that imitates this animal. What's a horse? Let's hear it, player one. Yeah! Good. Player one. He designed sets and costumes for Where the Wild Things Are, a ballet based on his own beloved book. It's player one. Who is Maurice Sendak? Yes. Select again. The 2000 ballet Todo Buenos Aires features different interpretations of this sensual ballroom dance. What is the tango? Player one. Woo! Correct. Player one, pick a Here's Kelly from our Clue Crew with the clue. It's the double talk name for this standard ballet skirt. What's a tutu? Okay, player one. That's right, way to go. Choose again, player one. The Bureau of Land Management can help you adopt one of these wild donkeys. What is a burrow? Yes, player one. Good. You again, player one. As well as manly or virile, this word can mean sledgehammer. What is macho? Player one. Oh. Right. Please pick again, player one. Whether after Cuba or not, it simply means free. Let's hear it, player one. What is, uh, let's, what is Cuba, uh, siempre? Anyone else? It's player three. No, that's not right. Any other takers? Let's hear it, player two. 
<laughs> Good. You're out of the hole. Layer two. Pick again. This can mean taste or flavor. Con mucho this means with great pleasure. Okay, player one. What is, um... Uh, con mucho, uh... What is sabor? Sorry. That's wrong. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Here is what we wanted. Gusto. Oh, Gusto. All right. You get to pick again, player two. Here's Kelly with the clue. In Spanish spelling, this mark above the N indicates that rather than una, the word should be pronounced uña. What is a tilde? It's player one. That's it. We return to you. When a tiny parasite enters an oyster's shell, mantle cells cover it with nacre until this is formed. Yes, player one. What is a pearl? You are correct. Player one, back to you. This plant grows as a parasite on apple tree trunks, blooms in February and March, yet still is a factor in Christmas kisses. What is mistletoe? Player one? Yeah. That's correct. Choose again. Player PSI one. is a charity delivering nets to fight this parasite-caused disease that kills 3,000 African children a day. What is African sleeping sickness? It's player one. Or no, no, what is malaria? Yeah. Hey, you're right. Player one, you can vent this soft ductless organ that fights infection with parasite detection. What is a spleen? Okay, player one. Oh. Right. Now let's take a look at that $2,000 clue, shall we? Closely related to meningitis, this inflammation of the brain can result from viral infections or tiny parasites. Let's hear it, player one. What is encephalitis? That is correct. It's a runaway game. All three of you will participate in Final Jeopardy right after this. This is the Final Jeopardy category for today. Traveling the globe. All right. Please enter your wager. Each direction on the plus control pad represents a different response. Press a direction to select an answer. Let's take a look at the last clue. Flying due west from Los Angeles, it's the first foreign country you would reach. Due west from Los Angeles, okay. Let's say what is Japan. What did you say? Japan. And that correct <laughs> response will add everything, so you double your score to 800. Let's see your response. Japan. How hey, much do you I'm add to your total <laughs> with that correct response? 5,000, so you're at 13,000 for now. 13,000? What did you put as your response? I also said Japan, so I went 17,599. With that correct <laughs> response, you will gain Putting me at six hundred forty-two thousand five hundred ninety-nine dollars. Oh. Congratulations, player one. You are our new champion. Nip six forty-two. So long. Coming soon. Catch you later, everybody.